into a realm where the pulse of sports thrills and the spark of technology sizzles. Join Ronald Unk Bolware and your charismatic host, Jay, a- aka Jonathan Anderson. Together, they unpack the latest in sports and technology. This is Noonish Sports and Tech. Bring the bell this week, huh? Say, man. And we got Bob Hayes right now. Bullet. See, that go another nickname. Yeah, he earned it. We also it. Done had Mount Matumbo. Yeah. We had Charlie. All, all these guys, man, they did something special, man. And the bullet, Bob Hayes, was a different athlete, man. You know, yeah. I know this is football, but it's hard to talk about Bob Hayes not talk about track and field. Yeah, also. no doubt. It was his rookie year yeah. with the Dallas Cowboys, which was 1965, that he graduated from Florida A&M. Yeah. But the Cowboys uh, drafted Bob Hayes in uh, 1964 because they had uh, uh, had their provisional draft because Dallas was a new team and they drafted Bob Hayes in 64 and, and maintained his rights until he came out of college and then when he came out of college and uh, they signed him in 1965 but in the meantime in 1964 he missed part of his senior year playing football at Florida a and because he was at the 1964 Olympics winning the 100 meters. And to this day, Bob Hayes is the only person that has a gold medal and a Super Bowl ring. Bob Hayes. Now, people say Michael Carter. Michael Carter of the San Francisco 49ers has a silver medal in the shot put and two two or three Super Bowl rings. Two out Two of them for sure, but anyway, we talk about Bob Hayes, and that's what separates Bob Hayes from a lot of people. Bob Hayes is the only one, like I said, that's got the Super Bowl ring and the gold medal. And Bob Hayes, when the Cowboys drafted Bob Hayes in 1965, he was a 12th round draft choice. They they are uh, well, they drafted him in '64, but they drafted him in such a late round because they knew he was going to have him next year. And in, and in that '64 draft, the Cowboys actually got Mel Renfro, Bob Hayes, and Roger Starback. And when Bob Hayes went to the Cowboys in 1965, Bob Hayes had 41, no, 46 catches and 1,003 yards. So you do the math. He averaged almost 21 yards of per reception his rookie year. And for his career, he averaged 20 yards even. And it's only four receivers in the history of the NFL that has averaged 20 yards or more for their career that qualifies with enough catches. And Bob Hayes right now, Bob Hayes still has 22 Dallas Cowboy team records. He has uh, he has 10 uh, receiving records right now, and he has four punt return records and, 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 and uh, various other records. But his total records that he still have with the Dallas Cowboys is – 22 team records to this day that Bob Hayes still have. And uh, he his uh, total touchdowns for his career is 71. And, and, you know, back then it wasn't a throwing league. It was more of a running league. And, you know, to have 71 touchdowns, average 20 yards per catch back in 1970s, that was very uh, rare. And, you know, Bob Hayes uh, did a lot of stuff. And like I say, he 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 got twenty two team records right now, and uh, he's the only person that got the got the gold medal and the uh, Super Bowl ring. I mean, you know, he did so much in football and track and field, but the but the but the football accomplishments he actually got a Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys in nineteen seventy two. And actually, Bob Hay was on his way to a lot more yards and a lot more touchdowns, but the Dallas Cowboys changed quarterbacks, and the next quarterback. His first quarterback was Don Murray, and his next quarterback uh, was uh, Craig Martin, and then after that, uh, Roger Starback. And actually, when when you see the Cowboys change from Don Murray to those other quarterbacks, you can see Bob Hayes' statistics started to drop, and it and it had something to oh, do. So quarterback matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarterback matters, <laughs> and. Uh, I mean, and, it, and, and you know, Don Murders is not a better quarterback, quarterback than Roger Starback, but he probably threw deep more, yeah, you yeah. know. So, so that, that, that made a difference because Bob Hayes was a deep threat. threat. 
And this is this is what the people need to know. There was no zone defense in the NFL until Bob Hayes. Oh wow, he was that fast. Can nobody they, can't hold yeah. him one on one? Yeah, they 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 invented the zone defense. Okay, you cover him for the last first 15, 20 yards. Then you catch him when he get in his zone. Yeah, once he get right here, you pick him up because nobody was fast enough to stay with him. They invented zone defense because of Bob Hayes. Wow, that is in. Same. And we talk about nicknames. Yeah. Everybody know Bob Hayes was a bullet. Bullet Bob bullet Hayes. Bob. That's, that's crazy. How fast he was. And Bob Hayes, and you know, that's a, that's some of his football accomplishments. Yeah. Now in uh his track and field accomplishments, uh in 1960, uh he he ran nine two, but the world record was nine uh, was uh nine one. Then in 1963. Wow. 10-2 or 10-1? I mean, 9-2 in, in 100 meters. Oh, 100 meters? Okay. 100 yards. 100 yards, 100 yards. 100 yards. In, 60, yeah. in 61, he tied the world record at 9-2. And in 63, he set the world record at 9-1 in the 100 yard dash. Wow. So, I know I know Tyree Hill been talking about racing no lives. Stop it. He can't do it. Do you think Bu Bullet Bob Hayes actually would have been a good race for Noah Lyles? Absolutely, he would have because this is the – Bob Hayes is the first person – and I talk about all this football stuff, and I got to throw this in. Bob Hayes is the first person that went, that went under six seconds in the 60, 60 meters. And was he, doing, was he on cinder? Dirt. He was on dirt. Yeah, and then in the Olympics, he ran, he ran 10.06 in lane one on dirt, that's after, and that was right after the, the uh, what's that, 10,000 walk race, all that's in lane one. Wow. So it was so a chopped up surface is so what you're it saying. A, it, was, it was a chopped up surface. And it, and in this and in the semifinals, Bob Hayes is the first person who went, went, went under 10 seconds flat. He went 9-9-1, nine, nine, but they said it was wind dated, and, and they didn't count that, but then in the Finals, he went 10.06 in lane one. There was no preferred lanes like no allowed them getting out lane five. Lane five, lane six, yeah. yeah. Bob Hayes was in lane oh one. Gosh. And then not only that, the day before that, they had been the 10,000 meters. And all so that, that surface was all, soft. All, all in lane one. Sand, like yeah, dirt, dirt. Like, and yeah. Bob Hayes ran 10.06. Wow. So, that's and that's crazy. what I just want athletes to know. The human body haven't changed. Just, hey, a, just the training and the facility. And, and you go back and, and look at, equipment. and speaking of human body, go back and look at Bob Hayes. That dude was a specimen, man. Oh, absolutely. Triceps huge. He don't like no track runner because he's so big and bulky. I mean, when he was running track, thing. he was, and he I know was, it's some Justin Gallon, it's some thick looking dudes. They look like Bob Hayes, though. No, huh? no and Bob Hayes wasn't up about 180, 85 pounds. That boy, that was well, all, was muscle. all muscle. Oh, yeah. And it wasn't all that weightlifting. Some of that was just God, genetics. Yeah, that's DNA. insane. So, you know, Bob Hayes was that dude, man, in track and field and football. Yeah. But I heard he couldn't catch too good, but he caught enough. I mean, but this is this is the whole thing. All I can say, he still got the – I think somebody tied him. The Cowboy record is 71 touchdowns. Bob Hayes is still either got that or tied for it. Like right. career? Career. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And, and he averaged 20 yards. Per it would have had to who been who? Emmitt Smith? It would have had to be no, no, Smith? No, 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 no. Receiving. Oh, receiving. receiving. No, no Emmitt Smith, Smith got a uh, – Emmitt Smith is number two behind Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is all time. Yeah, who – receiving? That, that's for the either. Cowboys, was it? I think it's Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin? It had to be Michael Irvin, right? Somebody. But then it still may be Bob Hayes by himself. But yeah, he either got it or he tied with somebody right now. And and that, it wasn't even a passing league back then. Yeah. It was a running league. That's that's crazy, man. Bob Hayes sound fast in a month. And Bob Hayes, <laughs> and, and uh, even right now on dirt, even in the Olympics. On dirt? That's what's tripping me out. These boys are running on Bob services Hayes, that are giving Bob them some, Hayes, some bounce back. On the four by one relay, Bob Hayes right now still have the fourth fastest four by one anchor league in the history of anchor leagues in the Olympics. What was his split? Uh, uh, eight. God, dog. Woo! Don't make me say it's 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 eight seven eight something oh my like that. Goodness. And number one is Usain Bolt with eight seven three. Uh, uh, Carl uh, Noah Lyle is second. So he's with five one hundredths of a second within Usain Bolt. Bolt on dirt. On dirt. Oh my goodness. Hey, Jay, Usain Bolt is on these tracks 
with that, the bounce that back. Bounce back and push back. All the equipment, all that. So that's insane. So that's why and, and, I, and long spikes. Yeah. And so that's why I always tell athletes, just the training has changed. Not yeah, the human man. Body. That's insane, bro. <laughs> Holy cow. Bob Hayes. Hey, Bob man. Hayes is what that was. <laughs> Shout out to another excellent episode of, of Ring, Ring the Bell. Bell. If you haven't checked it, uh, heard of Ring the Bell, know what, if this is your first time tuning in, man, go back. We got Ring the Bells on the NBA season. Did a Ring the Bell last week on Deacon Jones. Uh, yeah. but and NBA, we, we got one. Gail yeah, oh, Gail Sayers. We got Rick Barry. We got Bob McAdoo. We got Jerry West. Will uh, Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain. Uh, Bob. Uh, what's uh, what's the what's my guy with the Celtics? Uh, uh Bill Russell. Bill Russell. Yeah, yeah Larry yeah, Bird. Havlicek. Yeah, and. Yeah, John have a check in, man. When you go back, and Bill listen, Walton. Yeah, Bill Walton. And when you go back and look at listen to some of those ring the bells, I'm not just being uh, funny or anything or trying to brag. I bet you're gonna find out some things about these people that you didn't know. Absolutely. So the, this is the thing about this show right here, man. Like this is like bridging the gap. You know, I got my ideals and thoughts about sports from 1982 and on, and really like 1987 and on when I can actually. See what was going on, listen to the radio, yeah, watch television, understand, and understand yeah. what was going yeah, on. So when I come in saying Michael Jordan the GOAT, Unc looking at me sideways and saying, well, nobody's saying Jordan was the GOAT when he came to the league. He Baby. could, Unc say uh, Larry Bird was his daddy Hey, in the 80s. Go look at the record. You know what I'm saying? Look, I mean, you know, every, you, so, know that, you know, everybody always said, well, Michael gave, Michael gave uh, Boston 60. Larry Bird had fifty something in the same game, man. Yeah, Come man. On, man. So, so we here. We like to we like to bridge the knowledge gap yeah, on sports as well yeah. as have the knowledge yeah. about what's going, what's on, what's going on right now. Absolutely. Right? You know what I'm saying? So, Unc don't ever let me make it. I'll be like, man, let me make it this time, dog. He the goat. He like, nah, dog. Ain't no, ain't no such unless you playing golf or tennis or uh, track or uh, track and field. Sport, uh, ain't no golden team sports. You know that, that's what Unc like to say. But uh, MJ still the yeah, goat though uh, in basketball. You know, Unc uh, 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 got. Me, you know I got a top shelf. It is what and then it I is. got a next, second shelf, third <laughs> shelf. Mike on the Mike on the top shelf with him to go. Oh. <laughs> Mike on top shelf with him to go. <laughs> I was about to say, I know you're about to say on the second shelf. on the top shelf, he ain't to go. Yeah, hey. LeBron on top shelf with him to go. You think LeBron on the top shelf? Yeah, LeBron on, on top shelf, yeah. I don't know about that, though. Shh. You only got four championships. You need Man, at least five. You got to go more about championships. You need at least five up there. Well, then ain't that? Well, you better, hey, it's uh there's a whole lot of people ain't up there. So Robert Orr up there, he got seven. No, he ain't no top shelf. No, he but got, he ain't a top shelf guy. Yeah, but he I mean, got yeah. seven. But I'm yeah, saying, yeah, if no. we talking top shelf guys on, with championships. on top shelf. Got to have When you're the all time leading scorer, seven. Nah, I'm just playing, bro. Uh, uh, yeah, I know you're playing. You got me. <laughs> LeBron on top shelf. Bro, my dude, man. Yeah, I, I love LeBron. I love LeBron. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to keep this.